How to get and become happy. Oh my God, most people are like, wait, what? Yeah, a lot of times we don't know how to get happy or even stay happy. But in today's episode of the podcast and YouTube show of Get Inspired, and if you haven't subscribed and wanna enjoy this full episode, make sure you do so. The link is on the bio, you can enjoy it fully. But look, happiness is something that nobody is born with. Nobody's born happy. You're born with a heart. You didn't have to work for the heart. It was already beating for you. Everything else, well, you get the gist. Now, when you proactively are happy, right? Usually nine out of 10, it was things that caused you to become, become happy. But most of the times it was unconscious. What people fail to realize is that same analogy I just gave you, which is a fact, has the same correlation with stress. Most, time, most of the time, people don't even realize what caused their stress. Or sometimes they do, but they make it worse. It's unconscious. So a lot of times when people say, well, Jason, how do you become happy? I know you coach people in their relationships, their workouts, their branding, their business, and all this, and all this jazz. I was gonna say shit. <laughs> and now I said shit, but no, real talk. But how do you proactively get someone to become happy, happy, and stay happy, right? It's not that easy, but it actually is something that with practice truly becomes a reality, right? There's gonna be good days, there's gonna be bad days, right? But some of the exercises that I've, I've talked about, right, in the past, and a lot of people have covered this through many years, right? Whether it's Tony Robbins, Deepak, the list goes on. But I will tell you, number one, guided meditations, whether it's the ones I have on the podcast and YouTube or any ones that you want to do is what truly one of the biggest things that helped me, right? Number two, active journaling in the AM and PM. Again, these a lot of these things I, I've repeated, but I get a lot of new followers. So I like to bring things up again, right? And number three, obviously is working out. But I'm making sure that the body, the mind and the emotions are fulfilled. So if stress comes about, right? You know how to deal with it, conquer it and stay happy. Most importantly, these exercises truly do get you happy, right? And we're not putting band-aids. What is a band-aid? Say this is alcohol and just drinking myself and my sorrows away. We don't want to do that. Prescription pills. We don't want to take prescription pills or if you're taking them right now, that's just numbing the pain away. You don't want to do that. That's not what you want to do, right? The other one is just taking straight up, just drugs, smoking weed, Coke, crack, the list goes on, you know? And you wonder sometimes how some of the most famous people in the world, right? They passed away because of drugs, right? They weren't really happy. Right? Most people don't ask you, hey, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Are you happy? You can have everything in the world, financially, X, Y, Z, fame, X, Y, Z. But if you're not happy, what's the point? If you're not healthy, what's the point? All these tips that I just provided you are things that truly do work, right? And I'm giving you the surface of it, you know? Same thing, why nine out of 10 of my clients that I work with, whether it's here in the United States, in, in uh, overseas, Mexico, Europe, Spain. Why are they succeeding? Why are they succeeding? Because they're taking, just like you, if you're taking notes of what to do and get happy and stay happy, I work with them collectively, one-on-one -on -one or sometimes in small groups via Zoom and in the phone. So if you're watching or listening to this right now and you're saying, man, you know what? I, just like you, Jason, I'm admitting I'm, I'm not really happy right now. And trust me, I say that because I wasn't happy for many years. And I had to learn how to become happy because you could be learning these tips and may never work with me ever in your life, but use it at some point and say, man, man that really helped me, Jason, right? And if it did, by the way, make sure you take a screenshot of the podcast or YouTube, tag me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, right? So I know and I can repost this. This is a community and I want you to know that this is a safe community where you don't have to feel weird. Like, oh my God, I gotta call the therapist. I gotta call the psychiatrist, this, that, that, the other thing. I get it because I've been depressed. I've been anxious driven. 
Nobody says that you're not gonna have good days. You're gonna have shitty days. I can tell you that right now. But how you perceive things and deal with things, right? It's the same thing. I tell my clients all the time, I did self-defense for many years. Did I become a blue belt in jujitsu just to go out and beat people? Hell no. It was for me, I felt good. But when you practice things, whether it's a physical sport, mindfulness, which is what I teach and coach amongst other things, you become so strong and you become so aware that when things, or as they say, when shit hits the fan, you know how to deal with things much better. I hope this episode inspired you. Get inspired, stay inspired, keep it caliente. Leave me some comments, guys, come on. Dame, unos poquito de, dame un poquito de comentos porque te aprecio mucho. Mucho amor, much love. I'll see you on the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.